going to start carving the upper lateral incisor. As we said before, when we are carving a tooth, we start with the mesial and distal aspects. The mesial and distal aspects. This makes the easier. This makes the carving easier. So here I'm going to see that the length of the crown here is 9 millimeters, while the length of the root is 13. The length of the crown 9, the length of the root 13. So 9 plus 13 is 22. I'm going to add 1 millimeter. This one millimeter will help to keep the normal size of the tooth as it is. If I'm, when I'm going to cut the block, it may, some more wax may be lost. So be sure that the length of the block is still 22. Again, I'm going to use the graph paper. Put the graph paper at the cervix, at the line separating the crown from the root. The lateral incisor is smaller than the central incisor. So the cervix here is 5 millimeters. Put the graph paper on the midline and measure 2.5 millimeters here and 2.5 millimeters here from each side of the med line. Put two points. Then, the crest of curvature of the lateral at the mesial and distal sides or aspects are in the center of the cervical line. Then, use the graph paper again and put it on the midline. Measure here three millimeters from each side of the med line. Put points. Then, if you want to draw the cervical line, you can put the graph paper here. The concavity of the cervical line in the mesial aspect is 3 millimeters. But I prefer to do this step to draw the cervical line at the end of the carving. Now, the incisor edge is on the same line with the apex of the root. Put a point here and point here. These are our points. Now, join the cervical point or the points at the cervix with the crest of curvature. The label outline of the lateral is convex with crest of curvature at the center of the cervical. So draw a convex line till you reach the incisal edge. The lingual outline is convex join the two lines, then slightly concave at the middle and the incisor third and slightly convex at the incisor edge. The root cone shaped with rounded apex. The same thing do it at the distal side, but except that the cervical line concavity is 2 millimeters. And I said before, I prefer to draw the cervical line at the end of the carving. Now, I'm going to hold my block here and measure 3, 9 plus 13 equal 22 plus 1 we always add 1 millimeter equal 23. Put the graph paper like this and measure 23 millimeters. 23 millimeters. Put mark with your carver. Then at the opposite side here, I draw here and I'm going to draw again at this side. Measure. 23 millimeters and put a mark with your cuff. Join the marks all over the block like this. Then cut the block. to cut 
cut a clean cut. Then let the surfaces smooth. Here you should measure again the block and the block here should be 22. The block here should be 22.